gold dust. It's gold. It is the new gold we are using to help fight climate change. By using charcoal dust, we're going to get energy, we're going to fight climate change and increase household income. Keep a watch. Sustainable Innovation YouTube channel. Today we are on our way to Migori County, Rongo Sub County, Central Kamagambo Ward, to meet Ratat CBO, who are working tirelessly to fight climate change by leaving no waste behind. They are only collecting the charcoal dust to make briskets and using this to increase their household income. Welcome Caroline and take us through the process so that we can learn how we can mine this local gold and use it to increase our household income. Don't forget to subscribe, like and leave for us a comment so that together we can learn more on how we can use the available waste within our region. Caroline from Migori County, Rongo Sub County, Central Kamagambo, CBO Ratat. I'm the founder of this CBO Ratat. I saw it grew to start it because I was really struggling to empower women on how to make the environment clean, as in to use the available materials such as the dust, as I, I choose the dust store as we need to make the chapel prepare. I started the project on 2017, August, but uh, it was having some difficulty to get the dust, but uh, I embarked on them, I did it very well until the date 2022. The dust I'm getting from the women who are selling the chapel. In the third CBO, we are 15, three are men. Here where I am, I have found the market, but I want to expand it, not within here, to go at a large area. So these ones are the things that I've been using, and then they are the binders, which I, I mix at a certain ratio, so that we get the briquettes at a good point that are single. These are the binders. This one is molasses. This one is soy. This one is sawdust. This one is cow dust. And this one is the marabida. And this is the people that we are making. So as to use one. The briquette which I made. They are specific to specific to use. Mm -hmm. This one, the bundle of soil to each other is the one being used for poultry in Ruby. And the molasses is being used as a hydro in household. Molasses and gamma radicals. When cow dung and sodas is being used in restaurants and in schools. Now according to my sales, it depends on the clients who come and tell me the, the type of quality of the product I'm having, where you should use or shift. This is the products that I'm having that I want to use to make the product. Ten bags of shadows. You mix it very really well, and you remove the stones which are inside there. You take 
water. As now I want to use the molasses, two liters of molasses and two and third of water. I want to mix them. After mixing molasses and water, we should two to one. I pour it in the chadas and mix it very well, very well, very well. After mixing it, I put it in the machine. Now the ratio is very good. We can now put it in the rack. This is the machine which is being used to make the bricket. Just the, the shaft here which is being used to compress it. Being compressing means to make it hard. And when you want to use this machine, since it has some parts here, you have to cover it. There's electricity here which is being operated here, so you have to cover it. These are the boards. Hmm. These boards are being used to put the breakers. When they are from here, we put the wheel on the boards. It's when we are going to have a right there. their beds. When there is sun, it takes three days. When there is no sun, it takes one week. Here is now where the drying beds are. I'm drying them. When there is sun, within three days, they are good for cooking. This is our product. It has take three days now. It's very good. You can use it in cooking. So this is where we are packing. Them.
while you sing the briquette, there is a way you are using. Don't just put it uh, anyhow. You have to put it this way. The briquet is very good when using it. In that, you can use the briquet of 30 bob to cook what you want. The briquet of 30 bob, you can use it to cook what you want. In that at CBO, we are having some packing bags. This packing bag is at 50 shillings, and there is uh, a bag which is 1,500 shillings. The challenges that I've been facing is when it is raining, it's, uh, it takes too long for the briquettes to dry. That one is the big challenge that I'm having. The other challenge is uh, where I'm getting the dust is very far. Now, to make it easy, I have to use a lot of money to bring it where I am. The potential clients are the people who are around here, the hotels and the, the poultry, those people who are in, having the police and schools are my clients. The benefits of the briquet are it's eco-friendly, meaning it, uh, while you are using it, it goes very slow and, and protect the environment. In that it doesn't have smoke, no smoke at all while you are using it. It doesn't have dust. It is a dualist, meaning it doesn't have some smell while using. The other one, it is made from organic waste. I hope you've learned something in this episode where we are learning more on how to make briskets. Women, I'm talking to you and requesting you this gold in brisket. Let us not just wait and always asking what are you leaving us behind with? You can use brisket to make income, to change the life of your family. Please let's embrace since that kind of simple innovations. You don't need a lot. You only need cowda, you only need soil and the waste from soda, from the charcoal dust to have energy at home. Let your family not run hungry. Let them not sleep without food because there's no energy. You can make it. Together, we can make it. Let's share, let us like, and spread the message for all women outside here, for we can together work to fight climate change while increasing our household income. Thank you so much for watching. As we go for the next episode. When women take the lead, great things happen. <laughs>